Hey guys, Mel Modeler here. We are looking at Airfix's brand new 172nd scale Gloucester Meteor F8. Now this has literally just been delivered, um, so this is an exclusive. And first off, let's take a look at this gorgeous box art. Um, I love that scheme. Um, I've seen the other schemes, but this is definitely the one I'll be going for. Um, and you've got three of them there. Lovely. Right, let's dive straight into the box. So, typical of Airfix then, uh, all of your sprues come in a single bag. Um, so we'll have a look at the plastic in a bit more detail afterwards. Then we have our instructions and our decal sheet from Cartograph. So let's have a look at the decals first of all. So you can see your common parts there. Got this lovely scheme, that's the box art one. Then you've got 74 Squadron and a Belgium offering. And you can just see there in the light. I mean, cartograph decals can't really go wrong. So, uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Let's have a little look at the instructions. So, as you can see, we have um, information about the aircraft in the different languages. All very nice. Then, as we open up, we start work on the cockpit very typical um, seat goes together very nice step by step I mean look at that stage 12 already <laughs> just on the cockpit top really good that then we come across and obviously you've got the uh, option of wheels up wheels down very typical which is great to see uh, and then the cockpit goes into the first of the fuselage halves and you've got the call out on the nose weight there excellent and then obviously we've got the um, wheels up option the, um, the doors go on then we have um, the rudder as a separate piece which is brilliant means you can angle that then as we come across uh, we need to drill our holes on the wings for the drop tanks uh, and obviously if you get the separate stand you've got your holes there as well um, and then again uh, wheels up option all looking really good so far stage 22 then as we come across um, we work on our wheel wells Exhausts on the jet engines, then top parts of the wings go on. Then the fuselage attaches to those wing parts, and it looks like we have yes, we do separate um, aerolons. Very nice. some more work on the engines then we've got elevators which again are separate pieces so we can angle these which would be quite nice nice touch uh, then we work on the, the nose wheel now until we sort of see the plastic I don't know how much of a cavity you've got there whether you'll be able to get any nose weight in at all um, probably not actually uh, so you're going to have that behind the cockpit area here uh, but that was already called out so that's great and then we've got the nose wheel and tail wheel uh, well rear wheels going on what are we on now stage 55 <laughs> i love the way everything is called out step by step It'd be very difficult to get this wrong and the doors go on very nice oh there's the nose wheel Across, um, we've got the um, auxiliary fuel tanks um, and then this huge um, belly tank and then I'm assuming these are air brakes very nice and then we work our way onto the um, they're, they're the, um, the gun um, outlets aren't they 
and cockpit open or closed which is brilliant nice to see that and then we're done 79 stages for this um, and then as we come back on to the instructions we've got the um, box art so from, from Kent England 1953 very nice and we've got this second option from um, St Faith Horsham uh, in Norfolk. Nice one that. And then we also have this uh, Belgium option. Very nice. Right, so let's have a look at the plastic itself then. So we have uh, one clear part sprue. Very nice. Then we have four um, of these sort of plastic sprues. So let's take a look at the detailing on the wings. That is very nice indeed. Really crisp. But don't forget, this is a brand new tool kit, so you'd expect it to be. But yeah, that's looking lovely. You've got some raised detail there as well. Very nice indeed. And as we come across to the fuselage, camera will get into focus. There we go. Again, some really crisp detailing there. If this goes together as well as it looks, it's going to be lovely. Unlike my camera's work at the moment, which is failing to focus because I've got too much in the way. There we go. Very nice. Um, then let's have a look at some of the other detailing parts. So let's look at the cockpit detail. Again, really good. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. And then finally, the last sprue there okay yeah like I say this looks really good so um, what we'll probably do is we will work on the build this weekend uh, and yeah we'll see how it goes together but uh, yeah this is a good one okay I'll catch you later guys bye